Hello brothers and sisters in Christ and welcome to our first book in our word study persons, the book of Genesis. If you want to turn to me, turn with me, Genesis 14 and chapter 14, we're going to start at verse 11. So we're going to try to get, main point is to prove that uh, person is always a reference to somebody who has a body, soul, and spirit. So let's see if that's true. So start at verse 11. What's going on here is Sodom and Gomorrah was attacked, all the people were taken, Lot was taken. And that's where we're at. 11. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their victuals and went their way. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. And there came one that had escaped and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshcol and brother of Anor. And there... And these were confederate with Abraham, or Abram. This is before he became Abraham. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, and he and his servants by night smote them, and pursued them unto Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people. Body, soul, spirit, body, soul, spirit, body, soul, spirit. Okay. But, remember, uh, verse 17. See, Lot has a body, soul, and spirit. Uh, his goods, and the women, body, soul, and spirit, and the people, body, soul, and spirit. Verse 17, And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of... Uh, gosh, that's a good one. Um, Terlamer, and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Sheba, which, Sheba, which is the king's dale. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram, of the Most High God, Possessor of Heaven and Earth. Let's see, where are we going to? 24. And blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand, and he, hath, and he gave him tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, give me the persons, and take the goods to thyself. Okay. Right there, persons is a reference to all the people that Abram rescued, mainly he went to get Lot, and he brought all the people back. So person here is a reference to an individual human being consisting of a body, soul, and it's always referred to someone who's living, spirit. Body, soul, spirit. First reference to person, body, soul, spirit. Let's go to Genesis 36. Jump over to Genesis 36. Genesis 36, 6. And Esau took his wives, body, soul, and spirit on a wife, and his sons, body, soul, and spirit on a son, and his daughters, body, soul, and spirit, and all the persons of his house and his cattle, and all his beasts, and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. Persons of his household, all his servants. Because you've got the wives and sons mentioned, all of his servants, the persons. And what does a man that's a servant, because I'm a servant of God, you're hopefully brother, sister in Christ, servant of God, they have a body, soul, and spirit. So a person here is a reference to a man, woman, that has a body, soul, and spirit. So, once again, it's not, it's not about, oh, they have feelings and, you know, opinions, and they can think and everything. That makes them a person. You know how it separated the animals, too, okay? Um, so person, body, soul, and spirit. Uh, Genesis 39, 6. Going forward a few chapters. Genesis 39, 6. We're going to start in 5. We're going to start in verse 5, brothers and sisters. 
And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, talking about Joseph, and over all that he had, the Lord blessed the Egyptian house for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's make sure. Verse 6, And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not aught he had save the bread which he did eat, and Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. Now I looked up goodly, because I'm like, you know, we see that a lot in the Bible, but I decided I'd look up goodly. So, goodly, being of a handsome form, beautiful, graceful, as a goodly person, goodly raiment, goodly house. Pleasant, agreeable, desirable, as goodly days. Okay? Now, so when it says goodly before person, that's what it's saying, that he's handsome, beautiful, graceful, a goodly person. And the person side is referring to Joseph. And what does Joseph have? Body, soul, and spirit. Okay. Only three times was person mentioned in the book of Genesis. So, getting underway, so far in the book of Genesis, person has always been a reference to someone who has a body, soul, and a spirit. So, I thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next book on person, let's see, Genesis, Exodus, on the word person. Thank you for watching.